Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Stoneblock 2. I'm here in the mining dimension and I did a little bit of mining in between episodes. And you can see my inventory is pretty much empty. I have this dimensional shard ore that I want to toss in here. Because I upgraded our dank null so it can store a bunch more items now. Uh, and it can store up to 2048 uh, of each item. So I just tossed all the ores in here. And as you go mining you can just uh, collect the ores. Your inventory doesn't get clogged and it's really cool. And once we get to the emerald tier, we're not even going to have a problem of uh, storing enough stone in there because the stone that you can store inside is pretty much infinite. Uh, pretty much. It is a finite number, but it's pretty much infinite. Uh, it's the highest number, I think, that we can go to. Like 2.1 something billion trillion or something something. I don't know. So uh, that is what I did. Uh, I'm going to get all of these ores processing in a moment. Uh, but I did a little bit of work in between episodes on the base. As you can see, it's all dug out except for those three blocks because those I used to get up to the top to dig it out nicely. Uh, and I also changed the floors so they're all now uh, chiseled stone instead of chiseled cobblestone which just looks much better. It doesn't have the grainy texture and it looks really nice. And I used the chiseled cuts in the middle and the chiseled circular with the connected textures on the sides here. Uh, I removed the cactus, removed my farm as well. I also made uh, diamond meshes. I sifted, I think, three or four stacks of compressed gravel uh, to get enough diamonds. And I think I have like three diamonds left or two or something. Uh, something like that. Uh, I have a storage crate here now that can store all of our, our crystals and all of our peridots and rubies. And I don't know if these are... Uh, oh, these can be used uh, with this to make power. Hmm. That might be, might not be a bad idea. If we automate sifting, we're gonna get too many of these anyway. So why if, what if we have uh, like three of these numismatic dynamos with the lapidepidepi calibration? It's lapidepi. Ah, ah, lapidepi. Okay. <laughs> uh, so we can use those for power. That could also be cool uh, in conjunction with our canola stuff. Uh, might not be bad, actually. I wonder if there's... Actually, no, I would really like it if there was like a press that I could run these through, uh, or at least ore. Uh, ruby ore. There's no ruby ore. There's just ruby seeds. Okay. So there wouldn't be um, a way to do it, to run it through like a machine that would press it down to turn the ruby ore into rubies. That would be kind of cool because you could actually visually see that. Anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, I made an induction smelter. I upgraded all of my machines to the... Uh, a reinforced tier, I think it's called. Yeah, reinforced. Uh, because with the induction smelter, I made some hardened glass, which was just some pulverized obsidian and pulverized lead, which I made through the pulverizer. I'm currently processing uh, more oak wood into charcoal. I also processed all the ores uh, from my sifting operations. So we have uh, a little bit of iron now, so we can uh, not worry about that for a moment. Uh, I also processed some coal and apparently some aluminum here. Uh, that got left over so we can just toss this in here to get smelted. Uh, I have industrial hemp uh, Cactus sugarcane and rice now in compacting drawers and in cloches because sugarcane is really needed for sugar and paper and stuff Even though we have uh, pretty much probably full paper not really uh, over there uh, The cactus I wanted for billcraft pipes and I don't know if we're gonna use those or just conveyor belts uh, I'm not sure yet uh, the rice I wanted for some rice slime balls and the industrial hemp for making the wires that do not hurt me, which is really nice because I would have probably died 60 bajillion times already if I didn't have insulated wire. All right, uh, so uh, nothing really else has changed, I don't think, besides that. I made a magnet, which we need to start. Uh, start. We, need to, we need to put in here and it's going to charge extremely fast because we have the flux linkage concentrator, which allows for rechargeable items to be charged very rapidly, which is really cool. Uh, and that just uh, fills up the buffer and it charges my magnet, which is the reinforced tier. Uh, and other than that, I don't think there's any changes. I removed the sink over there and it's now underneath here hidden uh, because uh, it looks much nicer than having the wires there. So this guy is currently not functional. It would, it would work with one dust and then uh, run out of water. <laughs> Damn, we can get a singular clay block. But we'll set that up in a more permanent spot eventually. For, for now, I think we're good on clay. So for today, I want to get... I wanted to do the whole soul sand automation, but I realized that there's quartz ore in the mining dimension. I have it in here somewhere. Quartz ore, there it is. 
uh, and we can just uh, either fortune this or we can pulverize it to get three that just seems like a good idea uh, so let's get stone block on the floor let's get some ores processing the diamonds the emeralds redstone lapis gold iron all of the coal silver aluminum nickel osmium lead black quartz um certus quartz as well yellow right uranium that i think is all good that can be pulverized we're just going to toss all of those there they're going to process this guy is currently still processing oak wood and if it has this here uh it can only process uh it could it will probably start taking coal after it is done with the wood but i'll be checking on it and either adding more wood if we need to uh but it's making quite a bit of creosote it's um, pretty full uh so once the uh the tank is fill, uh, filled i'll probably stop processing that into charcoal uh but for now i think it's all good so we're getting some redstone we're getting all the different things with the quartz now uh we can get into a drawer controller to set that up to um to do things really much better so i don't think we're gonna set up the the soul sand production because i don't think we need to right now uh, so we're just gonna toss those in there and they can chill i forgot to mention this in the previous episode but i do not want to use chickens or mystical agriculture for anything so just no none uh, i'm probably gonna do it for the quests but uh just to complete all of this but no mystical agriculture seeds for any sort of resource we can still use mystical agriculture armor and furnaces that's fine and for the chickens i'm just gonna go through the mod probably actually probably not i'm not gonna even dive into this because it's gonna take so much time to breed all the chickens that it's i don't think it's really worth it um maybe eventually and also no fluid cows uh, as well no more breeding no breeding of the fluid cows no anything because that's just entities in the world they cause lag i i assume that the way you put them in the traps uh, in these rant cow stalls they cause less lag but again i don't want to use those so that's all good uh, so uh, i wanted to make some black dye because i want to make a mob farm and for the mob farm we need some dark glass so i used some floater fertilizer and have a bunch of the different flowers uh, and we want to just turn all of those into petals and not worry about it. Yeah, let's get uh, some drawers if I have some here. Drawer. <clears throat> I do not, I don't think I have any. So let's just get a set of chests. And we can do it like this. We can just manually craft this because it's not too difficult like that. And that should be enough to store all of our flowers. Uh, and we're just going to put them uh, right here. I'm going to do like that and like that. And I'm going to turn all of these into petals, sort them out into the drawers so we have them nice and ready. And then I'm going to show you how you can duplicate, duplicate these petals to get basically an infinite amount of them. All you need to do to duplicate these is you place them on the floor, use some bone meal on them, and then you can break them with some shears. And you get tall mystical black flowers, which turn into four petals each. And you basically turn four petals into 16 petals, and you can do that indefinitely as long as you have bone meal the next thing you want to take is the pestle and mortar with the black petal in the crafting window and you can make floral black powder which is basically black dye and i'm currently smelting up some sandy glass which is just sand and glass combined uh, and i'm turning that into thickened glass which we can then take with our floral black powder and make dark glass and i think we're going to need around 50 ish for what i want to do here because Actually, we're probably going to need more than 50 because I want to do the mob farm in the floor. I don't really want to do it uh, like I normally do either in the wall or make a giant box out of it. So I just want to do something a bit different. So what we're going to do is place it down here. And we have silk touch on our pickaxe, which is lovely. So if we want to remove it, we can. Uh, and what I need to do next is just dig out an area for where the mob farm is going to be. I'm also gonna probably dig out underneath this box so we can, or maybe one of the other two, so we can set up some drawers for some storage of the mob drops. Another item that is gonna help us with digging around is this vision helmet, which uh, we can right click to toggle on and it gives us night vision. So uh, we can just put that on here. We're gonna lose the resistance, but we don't really need it right now. And right here we can do night vision. I'll also, uh, do this in my video setting to go here and do potion particles off so we don't see our squiggly lines wonderful so let's do some digging 
I have the mob farm pretty much built up. I don't have any sort of killing method, nor do I have the cursed earth in here. So we need to work on that next. Uh, I want to explain as well what the lamps are going to do. The blue lamp, uh, I believe it's called a lapis lamp, uh, provides light, but it does not prevent mob spawning. So that's going to be always on in the middle just to provide uh, light inside of the farm so you can actually see what's going on. And the redstone lamps in the corners are going to actually prevent mob spawning and be an on and off switch. But for what we need next, we need wither skeletons. So we need witch water, which we're gonna get by putting some ancient spores on some dirt. And that is gonna slowly transform this water into mycelium. We can also speed up the spreading of the mycelium like so. And that should, I believe, speed up the process of uh, turning the water into witch water, I believe. Um, so that should be good. We also have access to mushrooms now, which is really cool. Uh, and to get ancient spores, you just need to sift some sand in a diamond or an iron mesh. And I did that uh, and got ourselves a little bit of ore as well. So uh, with the witch water, we're going to turn a regular skeleton into a wither skeleton. And we're going to kill it. And hopefully we get a uh, drop of evil. So for that, I need to set up a basic mob farm, which is what that is basically. Uh, what did? What are you? Oh, that's chicken. Hello, chicken. We have a witch, a zombie, a creeper, and a chicken. Apparently, it could be a chicken jockey, but I can't really see. Uh, so let's just uh, go make a sword real fast. I'm gonna use some bones, probably. I think I have one left, and some cactus, and just stone. I think to make a basic sword that we can use to kill the mobs. I'm also gonna toss in, uh, in on the sword, a bunch of lapis. I don't know if I have enough to get the full looting, but uh, we are gonna get as much as we can on there. Our witch water is converted and I just collected it and I got a quest here. I didn't know it was one. So we get a void or minor controller tier one. That's not bad. Uh, it's uh, nine diamonds and we would need a whole bunch of stuff to get uh, that up and running. Uh, also, we got a prosperity shard while sifting the, um, the sand, so we can get a demonically Grianchuan drum. Do I have anything that I want to store a bunch of? Possibly this. Uh, let's uh, just break this uh, and toss you there. Nope. Up, up, up. Not what I wanted. I can empty this out, I think. Can I not? Probably if I place it on top and then do a click. There we go. And then we can collect it back up. Nice. Uh, I don't know what we're going to use this portable tank for, but our creosote is almost full. How much water are we still processing? 11. Um, that's almost going to make a full full 80,000 buckets, but that's going to be pretty cool. All right. Uh, so uh, we need some mobs in here for the witch water to work on. And we can turn creepers into charged creepers uh, if we just do that. Uh, I don't know if there's reliquary in here, but uh, the one thing that I must not do is walk up to here because then the creeper can actually see you uh, because I made this too wide. Uh, and uh, we just need to wait. So I'm going to go over here, probably sit a little bit further away so mobs can actually start spawning. I'm going to sit like back here. Uh, wait for them to spawn. Once we get some skeletons, I'm going to toss that witch water in there. I have looting three on my sword and we can just hopefully get a drop of evil. Let's see if we get lucky. We managed to get a singular wither skeleton. Oh, he's gonna be dying. No, 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 no. Did we get it? We didn't get it. But we got a quest, wither skeleton. So was that kill a wither skeleton? Yeah, we got a repair talisman. Oh my God, that's amazing. Well, do you repair Tinker's tools? Doesn't look like it. It repairs chisels though. So eventually, and shears probably, yep. Everything vanilla-ish. It repairs my torch launcher. Infinite torches. But it does not work on Tinker Tools. Okay, I need to do a bunch more waiting for a bunch more mobs to spawn. Okay. I decided that I'm gonna wait a little bit less for skeletons to spawn by giving them a bit more options. So in between cuts here, I'll be killing them and uh, hopefully getting a drop of evil sooner rather than later. But I did also a bit of work here and added vector plates. I wanted to use mob fans, but the mob fan upgrades uh, require feathers. And that would be just uh, a lot more difficult to get because I would need to put down a chicken trap 
and get a chicken and then breed him up and then kill him to get enough feathers to get the enough upgrades to do the whole thing so it's just vector plates for now this is going to get torn down eventually anyway and we are going to make a better more quirky version of the mob farm at some point so in the middle there there is a damage trap from cyclic I also made a player trap, but that one drops player drops and XP, and we have no way of collecting it right now. So it's gonna be just a damage trap until we get an ender, per ender pearl, and we can collect everything here. So I wanna increase a little bit of uh, mining speed on my pickaxe by adding just maybe one, two layers of redstone I think should be fine. Uh, maybe add another one on my hammer as well. Uh, just so we have a little bit of uh, faster mining speed. We have enough redstone for the moment and we are gonna do more mining in between episodes uh, to get more stuff anyway. So uh, as far as the skeletons go, I'm just gonna wait and leave it and we're gonna go do something else. I managed to get myself a drop of evil. It didn't even take that long of a wait. So we can just do that. That should convert almost everything and I think it should spread in darkness as well. So we can do that. And why are you still lit up? Is it the hopper letting light through? It shouldn't be. It wasn't before. Uh, I need to place also this guy back. That's a creeper. Please don't blow up. Thank you. Uh, also, our magnet is going to pick up everything now. So let's do V to disconnect it. But some mobs are spawning. Uh, we're going to get a better system for this anyway. But... Mobs are spawning. It's doing the thing. At least a little bit. So until we get an ender pearl, we are gonna have to deal with that trap in the middle and collecting of drops. But at least the corner blocks are working, so the mobs are gonna be spawning. Lovely. I don't need this anymore, so we're gonna just remove it. Uh, and uh, that's pretty much our mob farm. Kind of done. Needs upgrades though. Speaking of endermen, this guy teleported out. Oh god, I don't have armor. No, 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 no. I thought I had armor. Where did you go? I need my coffee. Coffee. He teleported somewhere. Oh, he teleported inside. Haha, <laughs> how dumb of you. No, that's just a skeleton. Okay. That's fine. Did he teleport outside? Inside? I think he's under not underneath. Uh, do we have anything that we can place? to protect ourselves. There's a yellow spot somewhere down here. So he might be down there, I guess. No, that's my pet rock. Oh, he, he despawned apparently. All right, okay, that's fine. The next thing that we can do, I have 50 netherrack here and with that, we're gonna get 16 and that should be this to get ourselves a hell biomarker. Uh, which is used in a quantum quarry to get yourself nether blocks. So that's really cool. Uh, and also, I want to make some of this. It's going to make us two stacks. I think that should be enough for a for a furnace. So let's get this split into five different ways. Like that, and like that, and like that. And we can just toss this in here to get smelted. I'll actually leave those three to go once. And then we can just leave that be. So that is gonna get us to a smeltery. So we need to make a smeltery controller, a drain, a tank, a faucet, I already made two seared bricks and a casting table. So that the smelting here should be pretty fast. If I can actually find where the seared brick is going, we can make ourselves a casting table, uh, probably a basin as well as what it wanted, uh, a faucet, if not two of them. Uh, and then we need a smeltery controller and a smeltery tank. Do we want the, does it want the tank or does it want, it wants the seared tank. Okay, and the drain as well. So that, that will make us a drain and that plus a glass in the middle right here is gonna make us a seared tank. So that should be quest complete, lovely we get a water candle. What are you? Increase nearby spawns when lit. All right, light with flint and steel, greatly increases natural mob spawns nearby, follow normal spawning rules of mobs and biome, has a chance of being extinguished on every spawn. Many properties in config file. All right, um, have a flint and steel somewhere. Did I not have? 
flint and steel what if we place it actually what if we place it here can I do it like here that is lit that should increase mob spawning right so if we go a bit further away we'll see how how greatly that increases mob spawning uh, but that should be fun all right uh, let me turn the rest of this seared brick into the blocks that we're going to need to make a tiny smeltery and we can probably put it here in this corner just temporarily and that should be good we now have a small smeltery i also melted some uh, copper and some aluminum to get some molten aluminum brass which is going to help us make casts for all the tools that we're going to need but currently we're not really going to be upgrading any of our tools just yet because we don't have any really good materials to upgrade them with this guy i want to emboss with night slime but we need purple slime for that and that can be only gotten in loot crates which i have two here the clay one is just going to get us two pieces of clay and the epic loot crate gets us two mechanical users not bad not bad at all uh okay so uh one thing that i wanted to do uh and yes this tool forge now it's gonna give me a quest i made this one before i assume i unlocked uh this or something or maybe this it says any tool forge but it says tool forge block of iron uh so i don't know why i didn't detect it nether star block oh my god oh my god that's amazing okay firstly as soon as I get these, first thing. Done. No more crappy. It's not crappy, it's really good, but no more of you. We have this now. And Nether Stars, uh, what else do we want to make? Actually, um, 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 I have an idea. Do we have enough emeralds? Because there is a Pharaoh's Beacon, this guy. It requires Endstone. Can we make Endstone somehow? Uh, barrel, lava, glowstone. Not a problem. Glowstone, I have some still. I might have made it into this. Can I break this or just convert it directly back? I can't convert it directly back. Okay, let's get three, or was it five end stone? I think it was five. Yeah, that's two. And then we need blocks of emeralds, which I think we have. And how do we make the saturation uh, potion? It's cake. Uh, conveniently, I just got a cake from a loot crate that I opened down here. It should be right in here. There we go. And we have a couple more loot crates that we're going to open. Uh, we can possibly, I think, get an ender pearl in the loot crates as well. Uh, also, that thing is not doing much. I don't know if it needs a redstone signal or anything, but it's not really increasing any sort of spawns or anything. So we can take this plus this. And then we take, we have the end stone, we need emerald blocks. So I think I should have enough emeralds here. Yeah, plenty to get uh, three emerald blocks that we want. And we can turn this guy into a Pharaoh's beacon, which we can use potions to generate beacon effects. So what we're gonna do is come over here to the middle uh, and actually, do we wanna place it? Let's place it down here, right? That should be fine. And we can say players all creature ambient aqua and whatever. And we put the uh, range to 256. We can get ourselves a brewing stand. It's just going to require a blaze rod. So the blaze rod can be gotten through chickens compacting blaze powder. Do we have blaze powder. We have blaze powder. We just need a compactor. That shouldn't be too difficult, right? Compactor. That is two copper gears. And I think I have the, I just need a machine frame. Yep, everything else we have. So that plus that plus that. Wonderful. Temporary power, go here. And compact me five of these, please. And then I have uh, some cobblestone, one, two, three. Oh God, you're slow. <laughs> All right, I'll take a moment. We can prepare the cobblestone here and take that. What else are gonna we... I don't think we need to make it longer or anything because it's just gonna give me saturation anyway. So that's the blaze rod. We need nether wart the next. Nether wart. 
How does one get you? Atomic reconstruction with the red mushroom. Done deal. Mushrooms, stop going around my base, please. We can toss you in here. But we have the reconstructor. Bam. Netherwort. Not a problem. Well, we can even toss that in a cloche at some point, but I don't think we need to right now. So that, we're gonna need a blaze powder that I tossed back in here. And this humongous chest is very difficult to search for items in. Blaze. There it is. I love that feature from JEI. Wonderful. That, we need glass bottles. Can I make glass bottles from stained glass? Is that a thing? I can turn that into stable glass, right? Uh, glass, three of those. Just so we have backups and we can make three uh, out of that. I think we need a potion of healing to get a potion of saturation. So healing is gonna be a glistering melon. Uh, do we have melons? We have melon seeds. Um, simple enough. Just grow me some melons, please. Okay, that's complete. We need melons anyway. Are you gonna be done soon? <clears throat> Close. Okay, let's just leave that be for a moment. All right, come on. You can do it. Please. Melon. Got it. Rice. Uh, I have silk touch, so let's just do that. Grab ourselves some golden nuggets. And get ourselves a glistering melon. That's going to turn into potions of healing. Like that. And then we can turn this into saturation potions. And what this is going to do when we put it in here, it's going to give us saturation. We can also make possibly, is there a haste potion? There definitely is. It's basalt powder or a cookie over a potion of ender, which is an ender pearl. Ender aura. I don't know what that does. No damage from ender pearl throws. Okay. Not bad. That's cool. So saturation potions. You can go in here and chill with our melon seeds. And if we toss this in here, right, we get saturation. I don't know if this uh, has been changed, but nope, it's refreshing our saturation. Lovely. So we can make different types of potions and just put them in here. And I assume it's gonna do different types of effects or it c maybe can only do one effect. I'm not sure. So we can test it out by making another potion. I made some strength two potions. So let's see what that does. Nothing. Because it can only keep one effect at a time. All right. I wanted to brew some speed potions, but it's one effect at a time. That's fine. We could make seven more of those if we wanted to. So we have some strength potions and we're just gonna brew the speed two uh, for whatever reason. It is time to end the episode off with opening up some loot crates. We get some silicon and an iron wand, donkey bait, gold ingots. Gold's nice, actually. Uh, we get an iron chest plate, which we can, can we pulverize this? Or like smelt it down into a nugget. What if we put it in here, turn it into more iron? Wonderful, okay. So with that, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I am hoping you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Also, consider subscribing to see new videos. You can support me on Patreon if you want, and I will see you all in the next episode. Have a great one. Bye-bye.